The University of Michigan Prostate Spore, or Specialized Program of Research Excellence focused on prostate cancer, uh, was established in 1995 and has had continuous support by the National Cancer Institute or the NCI since then. And it's really a focused effort uh, on developing uh, new therapies as well as novel diagnostics for advanced uh, prostate cancer. From both Schembechler's days here at the University of Michigan, we're all about the team. And our prostate program is no different. We have a large, very collaborative, multidisciplinary group of folks spanning the gamut from health services research to the basic scientists, to clinical, uh, clinical researchers, translational scientists, psychologists, uh, pathologists, radiation oncologists, urologists, medical oncologists, all of whom work together towards one single goal, alleviating pain and suffering from prostate cancer. Feeling great. Feeling real, real good. I think what makes us different is that we are not um, a, a one person with one talent. I think that the reality of it is conquering cancer is not going to happen with one individual. And there's no question that the, the individual contribution is very important. It's the fact that we are a team and a, and a team that has a lot of depth. My laboratory at the University of Michigan has focused extensively on studies of hereditary prostate cancer. And I was drawn to prostate cancer because I think as a whole, prostate cancer is has less research going on. There are major things that we don't know compared to what we know in breast cancer. For instance, we don't have very good predictive or prognostic biomarkers like we do in breast cancer. And it's um, every little step we take and we make makes huge differences in our field. My role in the SPORE is that I'm a co-principal investigator of one of the four projects within our SPORE. And our project is particularly looking at the role of bromodomain inhibitors as a treatment strategy for prostate cancer. In 2005, we discovered that the majority of prostate cancers are, are likely caused by a, a gene infusion. I think one of the things that I'm most proud of is that we've been able to take the discovery of the tempers 2 gene infusion and translate that both into an early detection test, the My Prostate Score, as well as a tissue-based diagnostic test, which is where we use an antibody against the product of that gene infusion in order to more accurately diagnose prostate cancer. So we've been able to take that and apply it to two different areas of care for men with prostate cancer. In the future, we will probably have to biopsy very uh, few people to find just as many lethal forms of prostate cancer. That's within our reach. The translational um, research program at the University of Michigan is special because we are about the patient. It's not about science in a vacuum. It's about the totality of the patient well-being. So it's very focused at real clinically important questions that if we solve those questions, um, we are going to hopefully have a meaningful improvement for patients' outcomes. One thing that I noticed from the second I started here is that you're limited only by your imagination and the number of hours in a day. And, and that environment, I think, really pushes all of us to really truly do the best that we can. Now, in 2011, we established the My Oncocy program for the Michigan Oncology Sequencing Program, uh, where we're basically sequencing patients with advanced cancer, comprehensively sequencing their tumor, as well as their uh, normal genome, uh, identifying what mutations have occurred in their tumor, uh, and based on that understanding uh, of the mutations that have occurred in an individual patient, we're basically then able to match potential therapies based on that comprehensive uh, understanding. This is personalized therapy. We know your cancer has been interrogated, we know that it carries these features, and we think therefore we should channel your treatment in this direction as opposed to the one-size-fits-all approach. Personalized medicine is in our future, and I think one of the, the, as a lab scientist myself, one of the great things about what we do in, in sequencing is that the costs are coming down. I think our greatest challenge now, now is not the technology of actually conducting you know, full genome sequencing or exome sequencing, it's actually in the data analysis and interpretation. And I think that's where people here at Michigan, I think, have been taking um, a leadership role because we have clinicians and scientists working together and trying to help bring the, the most important discoveries to people. Why is it that a one man with prostate cancer will die from their disease, whereas another man will not, will be unlikely to be harmed from it? So that heterogeneity, that difference, that sort of 
mishmash is really what is, I think, drives a lot of our uh, scientific curiosity to try to figure out what it is that we can do better to help identify men who are likely to suffer their, from their disease so we can treat them and identify at the same time men who are unlikely to suffer and avoid treatment and avoid inflicting the harms of treatment on them. And what that takes is it takes a village, it takes a nation, it takes, it takes a lot of people in order to do this. Over the, over the past uh, decade or so forth, we've developed the infrastructure to really be able to work together cohesively. And I think that for any discovery to move forward in the context of prostate cancer research, you need people who are stellar in what they do, but also willing to work together as a team, buying the common vision. And I think that's really what's uh, unique about here, uh, Michigan.